Now, many of the films we see in Britain are American, but we also watch European films. The next person thinks that American films are more polished than British films. Están mejor acabadas. I think that American films are generally more polished than British films. More money is invested in them, perhaps more time is taken when you're shooting an American film. English films sometimes are a bit more amateur. I like European films more than American films. I like French films, modern British films, and I particularly like Almodovar, the Spanish films. Um. Yes, I, I've enjoyed um, I've enjoyed a number of American films. Um, I, I don't go to the f cinema that often, but I follow it a lot. It, film reviews and um, uh, reviews on television. I think the last one I went to was Four Weddings and a Funeral. Very good. Have you seen that, Vanessa? Four Weddings and a Funeral? Yes, I have. I love Hugh Grant. Really? That's interesting. Don't you think I look a little bit like him? Mm. No. Ah, oh, well. Here's the real thing. And the winner is... Hugh Grant. It was the moment the charming, classically repressed Englishman took on some of the biggest names in Hollywood and won. And for Hugh Grant, paid just £62,000 to play the diffident bachelor Charles in Four Weddings and a Funeral, a moment to savour. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, this is... Uh, it's, it's, it's tragic how much I'm enjoying uh, getting this. Like the character Charles, Hugh Grant is still single, but his girlfriend of eight years, Liz Hurley, was with him for the ceremony. There was special thanks for her title and my girlfriend Elizabeth Hurley who put up with easily the uh, uh, nastiest um, uh, most ill-tempered uh, prima donnaish actor in uh, English cinema for six weeks um, and then came back to me which was really nice um, did you get the joke my girlfriend put up with the nastiest most ill-tempered prima donnaish actor in English cinema and then came back to me which was really nice. Mi novia tuvo que aguantar al actor más desagradable, más malhumorado y más divo del cine inglés. Y después volvió conmigo. Y eso fue estupendo. Hugh Grant is so British. <laughs> How to be British. Physical contact. Physical contact. Contacto físico. The British, especially British men, don't like touching each other. And there's something else that they don't like doing, that the Italians do. What do the Italians do, but the British don't? Hello. How are you? Fine. <laughs> what? What are you doing? I was trying to kiss you on the cheek. You can't do that. Why not? It's not right. Yes, it is. What are people going to think? Two men kissing. Look, I was only greeting you as a friend. Yes. Well, a handshake will do. A firm handshake. How are you? <laughs> There's no need for the other hand. One hand is enough. It's nice to see you. It's nice to see you too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why don't you sit over there? That's where you usually sit. I like it here. <laughs> Sit over there. I can see you better. There. <sighs> I've been watching Godfather 3. Oh! Is that the film that Francis Ford Coppola directed? Yes. 
He's not a bad director. Yes. Um, I love the way the Italians greet each other. <laughs> they kiss. And they hug. Yes, but they're Italian. I don't want to kiss you or hug you. Why not? Why should we be so cold with each other? Because we're British. So, the Italians kiss, se besan, and hug, se abrazan. And the British don't like that kind of thing. Is it true, Tony? You don't like kissing men on the cheek? Well, no, not really. Or hugging them when you meet? Goodness me, no. Shaking hands with two hands? Certainly not. Shaking hands with one hand? Oh, yes, that's OK. Sitting too close to someone? No, absolutely not. Why don't you sit over there? That's where you usually sit. What are you doing? That's where you usually sit. So, you see, the problem isn't only other men. It's women, too. Well, no. The problem is being in public, in front of other people, in front of the cameras. What are people going to think? That's the problem. What are other people going to think? I see. The cameras are a problem. And all the viewers at home are a problem. So, if we turn down the lights and I tell the camera operators and sound engineers to have a cup of tea and the producer decides that's enough for today, then it's OK for me to sit next to you? Well, goodbye. See you soon.